Alright guys, so in this video I'm going to show you how I meal prep to help myself stick to my macros during the week and make the week a little bit less stressful. Alright guys, welcome to today's video. Uh, so we're going to do some meal prepping. So if you want to be serious about your fitness goals, then you better start in the kitchen and make sure that your nutrition's on point. So what I like to do to make that a little bit easier is I'll prep my meals, so I'll cook everything in bulk, and that way I have my meals already already ready to go for the next you know, two, three, or four days, and it's a little bit easier to keep me on track, make sure, making sure I'm hitting my calories and my macros, and I'm not eating out, getting lazy. I just got everything ready to go. Don't have to worry about it, so I just went to the grocery store, picked up some things. I'm gonna show you guys what I do to uh, make sure that I've got everything prepped and ready to go for the week. Alright, so you guys saw all the food that I got. I'm going to sh show you guys how I do this. I don't have someone to record me, so it might be kind of hard, but I'm going to do my best. So I'm going to start with the uh, sweet potatoes because those take a while in the oven, so I'm going to start there. Alright, so I don't really know what to put the oven at. I'm just going to put it at 425, let it get up to 425, so preheat that. I'm, no, I'm not a cook or anything, I'm just doing 425 and probably check them every, like, probably check them in like 40 minutes and see if they're done and then keep checking them until they're ready. So, so I'm going to wash, wash these off first. I'm going to take a fork, poke some holes in them, let the heat get in there, and do this with all of them. Alright. All right, so we got the oven heated up. We're gonna put these in the oven. Probably check on them in 35, 40 minutes. I don't know if they'll be ready or not, but we will check then. And then we will start cooking up some of this chicken and ground beef. That is 93.7. Uh, store didn't have 96.4, which I normally have, so 93.7, which is fine. And I'm gonna show you some of the seasonings that I like to put on these. All right, so I always start with the Himalayan pink sea salt on everything. Then I'm gonna put some of this black pepper on the chicken. And then on th this uh, side, I'm gonna put this Miss Dash it's um, salt free, zero calorie. So Miss Dash is great, they make great seasonings. This here is extra spicy, and then I'm gonna put on this New Orleans Cajun as well. This Weber, so let's put some of that on. It's kind of a lot, but I like it. And then, over on the other side here, I'm going to put some of this lemon pepper. Feel focus. Okay, it's lemon pepper. And then Miss Dash again, some of this Fiesta Lime, another very good one. All right, so let me, let me. All right, so gonna uh, use this cooking spray, zero calorie. If you guys are using some kind of oil or butter, butter, make sure you're factoring that into your macros. But I'm, I don't like wasting my fat on that. So okay, this one's kind of empty. I'm putting it back up there. Right here. All right, here's another one. Then I'm just gonna lay the chicken on these pans, the seasoning down, cook it on about a medium heat, I think I got it on the five on mine, I know everyone's still is probably going to be a little bit different.
And yes, I washed my hands before I did that, just so you guys know. Um, and I'm gonna put a little bit more of the seasoning on the top here. All right, I'm gonna go wash my hands and then we're gonna do the beef. All right, say, same thing over here with the beef, guys. I'm gonna put, use the zero calorie cooking spray. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna get the beef going, cooking a little bit before I add any more uh, seasonings to this. I'll show you guys what I put on there. There we go. So we just gotta cook that up now. All right, so while this meat's cooking up a little bit, we got these Uncle Ben's ready rice that I've shown you guys, 90 seconds. Got some jasmine rice, so I'm gonna start, I'm gonna put these in, get those out of the way very quick. Got the meat cooking pretty good here. Gonna add a little bit more seasoning, some more of this pink sea salt. And I'm gonna put some of this garlic pepper in this front pan here, or I guess back pan. And then I'm gonna put some of this garlic salt here in the front pan. And that's all I'm gonna put on this uh, beef. So, getting pretty close here. Chicken's almost done too, then we're gonna move on to the vegetables. Broccoli. All right, so, onto the broccoli. I put a little bit of water in this pan here. Uh, put it on high, let it start boiling. And I'm just gonna throw this frozen broccoli in there. And I'm gonna turn the heat down to about six. I just get this Best Jet broccoli florets at the store. So I'm gonna let that sit for a while. I'm gonna cover this up. So that should take a little bit. I'll stir it in a little bit and I think that's it. We're gonna have to wait for the sweet potatoes to come out and then I'll show you guys everything when it's done. Alright guys, looks like the Broccoli is cooked, so we're done with that. Now we're just waiting on the sweet potatoes. All right guys, let's check on the sweet potatoes again. Yep, these are done, so. Yep, it's poking all the way through, so they're all done. Sweet potatoes are done, vegetables are done, rice, beef, chicken. Okay, so I'm going to put everything together and then I'll show you guys um, how I put everything together in Tupperware and get ready for the week. Alright guys, so just finished cooking everything up, packing it away, and we're ready to go for the next three days. So that just took me exactly an hour on the dot, and I know that sounds like a long time, but really you're saving time. For the next three days I don't have to worry about cooking anything, going to the grocery store. I got everything already in Tupperware, ready to go, and I don't have to spend any time doing any of that during the, my busy week. So let me just show you what I got for the next three days. Keep in mind, my calories are aggressively low right now. So all of what the next three days, my macros are going to actually be, let's see, what, I about, what I'm about to show you guys, 196 grams of protein, 125 carbs, 
very low. That sucks, but it's just where I'm at right now. I started dieting back when I was 179 pounds. My carbs were at 305. We're doing 125 this week. So fiber's at 28 and fat is at 49. Wanted to do 48, but it's 49. That's what it is, so 49. So let me show you guys what I got to hit those for the next three days. So every morning I'm going to be working out, so I'm going to start off by waking up. I'm going to have one of these power crunch bars, and I know with my calories being so low, this is 200 calories right off the bat. That might, it may, it's not like a very filling meal, but it works for me. I look forward to these a lot. I put them in the freezer, gets me out of the bed in the morning at 4 o'clock. I go and I have one of these, I get ready to go. I enjoy these a lot, so that's how I start my day before. I, and I don't like lifting on an empty stomach, really. It's not really for me. So I'm going to have one of these with 130 grams of strawberries, go to the gym, work out. Then I'm going to get back, and I'm going to have, I think it's, I believe it's eight servings, no, six servings of the egg whites, one whole egg, which I actually have in the fridge. Um, let's see here. A slice of this whole wheat bread with some of this avocado spread on it and some raspberries. That'll be my breakfast. Lunch, I got eight ounces of this 93.7 ground beef. Um, I think it's like 0.4 servings of this jasmine rice only and then a cup of broccoli so that's gonna be my lunch. Then dinner I got 8 ounces of grilled chicken, 100 grams of sweet potato and another cup of broccoli so then I got like my monsters I'm gonna have some of these drinking a lot of water try to get at least a gallon a day and let me show you some of these condiments that I like that are either zero calorie or low calorie that I like to add on, on, into some of my meals. So I got this Frank's Red Hot Greek with chicken. This uh, Sriracha. I like that as well with chicken. Uh, th this These Nando's. These are really good. I got the hot and the garlic. I don't see these everywhere. They're at the little grocery store across the street from me. So I get these from time to time. I've shown you guys this Stubbs barbecue sauce before. Not zero calorie. It is six grams of carbs but that's pretty good for barbecue sauce you only need one serving really that's good um, mustard sometimes this sriracha mustard guys is so good and it's zero calorie uh, my roommate found it I believe at that Dave's market that we go to over in Ohio City so look for this very good big fan of that and then sometimes this reduced sugar ketchup it's like one carb per serving only so those are just some of the low calorie or no calorie condiments that I use for my meals so there we have it guys not not a whole lot like I said my calories are low but during the week I'm pretty busy anyways I'm going I'm focused on what I got to get done and so I'm not really I don't really try to think about food that much this works for me there's other you know diets or styles of eating habits out there like intermittent fasting, keto, um, so I mean work with it a little bit, email me if you have any questions, uh, I can help you out, find something that works for you, but this is just wor what works for me and I highly recommend meal prepping because it definitely helps you save time during the week and it will definitely um, help you stick to your macros, you don't want to be throwing this food out, trust me. I, I've been there before, but I really don't do it that often. Sometimes things come up and it goes bad, but for the most part, this keeps you keeps you on on your macros. So I'm gonna end the video there. Thanks again for watching. Um, subscribe if you are, haven't already. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up. Um, and if you have any questions or you want help with uh, your nutrition or uh, designing a, a training program. Uh, check out my email in the description box and you can shoot me an email or you can uh, DM me on Instagram or Snapchat. Those are down in the uh, description as well. So have a good day or night, whatever time you're watching this. Thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next one. I got, I got, I got, I got loyalty, got royalty inside my DNA. Cocaine quarter piece, got war and peace inside my DNA. I got power, poison, pain, and joy inside my DNA. I got hustle, though, ambition.